This is 100 days of Skyblock, but there's just one block. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Today, we are starting a journey on how to survive for 100 days on a Minecraft one block Skyblock. And yeah, I've not even done day one yet, but we're gonna see if we can get to day 100. And this is how it's gonna happen. I mine away this single block and it gives me more blocks. I don't fall into the void, I don't die, and I make something for 100 days. Simples, right? Let's crack on. Here we are, day zero. I have got nothing in my inventory you can see and I'm about to break this first block. Now what happens is the block doesn't let me fall. There's like a barrier block or something underneath it that stops me from falling, but I've now got a block of dirt, which means I can place that block of dirt there and hopefully not die and build myself a little bit of a platform. I think we get the idea. Let's crack on with it. I'm gonna dig away. We are on day zero. So day zero, I literally just started hacking away with my hands. Before I knew it, there was a chest there. I started to grab some blocks. We started to build a little platform. And all of a sudden, boom, right in front of me, pig, my first friend. But I very quickly realized that that pig wasn't gonna help me remotely with my digging. So I got myself a crafting table so I can make an ax and potentially cut through a little bit easy when the wood comes. And then I realized I'm losing stuff out of the bottom of this. Any gravity blocks, sand or even gravel, they're gonna be falling through the bottom. I'm gonna lose every single one of them. So I made the decision, I need to be able to get a block underneath that infinite block so as I don't lose it. Fortunately, I got a bucket of water in one of the chests, so I laid that down, had a quick look, and then decided to mine out the block until it was wood, so as I could see the difference between that and the dirt. Placed down two dirt blocks, and I had it blocked off entirely. I carried on mining for a little bit more, and then I got a load of hearts pop out, and a really great chest with some good gifts, including a torch, which meant I could light up my island. And then, something happened. Oh my goodness, what's going on? I have got an upgrade coming, and I don't know what it means. Right, so, We've reached the plains. Flowers and trees grow here to last a lifetime. Right, I think what I might do now is allow this grass to grow onto some of this dirt so I don't keep digging it out. Well, the grass blocks are starting to grow across. We've got one underneath the chest and one that grew out to the side. The sun has already gone down on day one. 99 days to go. I've got a feeling this is gonna go all right because me and my pig mate, well, we're well up for this. I think we've got a lot of mining ahead of us. another special chest so I'm just going to remove that one out and see whether or not that brings us yep we are leveling up in just a few seconds I'm quite excited what is it going to be next what are we going to go on from from the planes one and the underground right okay many a monster I guess this is where we could end up starting to get some zombies and stuff like that but we're also getting some cobble and cobble is going to be really useful we can actually start to build some stuff now
We've managed to get to day 10, and in those 10 days, we have built ourselves kind of a four platform system going on here. And we've also got a lot of animals. We spawned in sheep, we spawned in pigs, we spawned in cows, we spawned in mushrooms. We then spawned in some dogs, which killed the sheep. We then spawned in some foxes, which killed the chickens, and then the dogs killed the foxes. We then spawned in this big fat white polar bear over there, and that had a right pop at the foxes as well. Now, as a result, I've got far fewer animals than I started with, but we made it to day 10. Now we've got to plow on and see how much further we can get. So we just carried on mining and mining to get more resources. It started to get quite frustrating that I didn't have a silk touch pick. I can't pick up the sea lanterns. I can't pick up the coral. I couldn't pick up any of the ice. And as a result, I'm losing loads and loads of blocks. I can't even make an enchantment table because I haven't got obsidian. This is actually quite a frustrating format right at the beginning of the game like this because I can't get all of the blocks and I'd really quite like them. I nearly got killed by a puffer fish. Okay, we've got guardians and elder guardians popping out now. I'm gonna have to make good use of my dodging and slapping them off the platform technique because otherwise I could end up toast. It's day 16 and we've actually managed to get a little bit more done. I'm starting to build some dirt platforms up, joining it up with the grass here to try and grass them up. And then I'm gonna break that so as we can have animal pens here and there. And I'll probably do two on the other side. I've also got myself a little house, my storage area, and I'm still trying to mine away at this block. Every time I bring in a piece of animal, a piece of animal tries to eat one of the other pieces of animal. And it's, uh, well, it's not really ideal. So I've lost, I think, all but one of my pigs, I've got no sheep left, and it's not looking good from an animal perspective. It looks like I'm gonna be a vegetarian, but you know, that's all right, we can be a vegetarian. Mr. Bear behind me seems to be quite happy with that, because that means he can eat all the meat. It was day 17, and I really didn't have that many resources, so I just thought I'd get bashing. And I just kept mining, and mining, and mining, and mining. And then I started to get diamonds in chests, and I got very excited. And then I got a villager called Martha, and I really didn't know what to do with her. So I made a little villager pod and brought my bed from inside the house out here. So Martha will, at night time, wander in and lay down and I can lock her in. And then I can turn it into my slave and make her do whatever I want to. Maybe I'll make her breed. Maybe I'll turn her into a librarian villager. I don't even know yet. And then, rather cruelly, when she was in there, I broke the bed again because I needed it because I haven't got another sheep to be able to pick up another bed. So I'm having that back, thank you very much. On day 21, we started to get some strange visitors. They haven't got any weapons, so they're actually not attacking me. So you know what, they can just stick about until I get bored of them. I'm even tolerating this one for now. And when their friends turned up, that was less exciting. He really wanted to have a go at me. Thank goodness he didn't have an ax. Oi, why can't he take, a why didn't he have a word with him? For goodness sake, Hamish. And every time we reached a new level, I was really excited to find out what the next thing was going to be. And this one, oh, <laughs> maybe I'm not so excited about this one. It's the nether. And this is why, this is why I'm not wearing any gold. I should have put some gold on. Quick, get yourself in the house. Make yourself something gold. It doesn't matter what. Get yourself in there. Out of the way, Mushroom. Uh, close the door. They can't get in. No, they can get in. Close the door. Die a lot. Die a lot. Die a lot. Oh, they turned into zombified piglin. Look, I can't trade with them, but they properly want to kill me. And now the gold's irrelevant. I'm not getting caught out like that again. Look, I've got my golden trousers on now. Everything's the winner. I've got a shield if there's a blaze pops out, because I reckon that could happen. I'm just a bit worried if a ghast happens, because that's going to um, mess up the island. Ooh, ancient debris. I think it's time to break out the diamond pickaxe. And at last, we've got some obsidian. It's taken me forever. I wonder if you can actually go through to the nether, actually. That might be quite interesting. So it's time to start making use of those villagers. I've got two now, so I can make myself a bookcase and also a lectern. So now hopefully I'll be able to give them a profession that will be useful to me. Let's see what kind of enchanted book we might be able to get out of these. If I pop that there, one of them turns into a librarian and Martha is a quick charge. Martha, you're useless. I want something better than that. And after about 27 goes, we've managed to get a mending book, so I can get some mending on some of these tools. 
And I think now I need to breed these villagers up and make a bank of villagers. I need unbreaking, I need mending, I need a f um, infinity, I need some decent enchantments. And I can also now make an enchanting table. And this was what I was afraid of. We've got blazes in the house, which is not something I really wanted. So I've got to get rid of them before they get rid of me. It's a good shot that job. They're a bad shot, but when they go up in the air, they're a little bit harder to hit. And I don't want them to set fire to anything like that, for example. They're going to set fire to my. Hang on, I've got. I've now got to get myself up here because that's what's going to happen. I knew it. Why didn't I just do that quickly? No, I've lost one of the villagers now. Oh, that's upset me. Okay, we are back and fixed, but I've lost one of my villager mates. So hopefully we'll get another villager at some point. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to breed them. Why didn't I start breeding them early? I should have had a stock. I also need to get farming properly. All this Mickey Mouse farming is no good. Why have I got fire over here? I didn't even notice it. It's taken me apart. Oh, that could have been really bad. Unfortunately, it's like the game knew. It actually gave me a villager spawn egg in about two chests after that all went up. So I'm just going to go and place my brand new villager in here just to make sure that I don't lose him. There you go. Right, so now you've got mates again. I'm going to start breeding you up now because that was, that was way too hairy. So I've decided we're going to make another platform out behind these chests here and we're going to put all of our villagery type stuff so like a trading hall, breeder, the whole lot. That's going to go behind there. Let's crack on with it. So our breeding barn and what will become the trader hall is now complete. It is literally just a box, but we've got safe entry. And what I need to do is make a couple of beds. Now I've got no sheep, but what I do have is plenty of string because I've had loads of spiders. So all I need to do is just make myself some wool there. And that is enough to be able to make three beds so far. And I can then hope that I can get more beds in there to start to breed these fellas up. Then I can just open up this and let them walk straight in. It should be easy. Yeah, I know, famous last words. The beds are in, let's let them wander. Now they're not gonna go unless it's night time, but I don't know if it is night time or not. So I'm just gonna open it up so they can get out. And then as soon as it's night time, they should, oh no, I've got to get rid of these as well. As soon as it's night time, they should literally just walk out and go and find those beds themselves. They're pathfinding, you should get them all the way over there. But I think it's currently work time because this fella just flipped that page, didn't you, Martha? Anyway, hopefully nighttime will come soon and you can go in there. The beds are in there, look, they're in there. Look, they're just over there. In the meantime, I'm just gonna deconstruct this so as it is all ready and out of the way and I can use this wood for something else. I think it might be working. Turtle, get out of the way, they wanna go to bed. Go on, get in there, get in there, get in there. Yes, it's working. What are you doing? No, Llama, we don't want you in there as well. I'm sorry, Llama. You've got to go. I don't want you anywhere near it. Go on. You die. I'll have your leather. 
Perfect. Right. Now, I can lock them in here. As soon as I trade up with Martha, that will lock her trade. So as I keep my mending book, jobs are good. And this separation will stop zombies from biting off their face. Genius. And of course, wither skeletons. I forgot all about wither skeletons. They're probably going to be quite keen to kill me a lot. So I need to try and get under a two. Can they reach me here? Can they... Yes, he can. Oh, <laughs> that won't work. I was trying to be clever. It didn't work particularly well. I'm going to have to run away now. Get Where's my sword? Where's my sword? Right, hit him. Run away. Hit him. Run away. Hit him. Run away. That is... Don't let him hit you. That would be bad. You don't care about skulls because you don't want to make a wither. Okay, that works. We got a couple of coals and a bone. Not particularly exciting, but now I need to be worried about withers as well. I'm going to have to build some kind of platform that is... I can hide under so as I can hit these wither skeletons when they're coming out because I suspect we're going to get a few. That will do it. They're not going to be able to get out of that, I hope. So we reached day 30 and we've got an interestingly shaped island and we've also got villagers that we can trade with. We've got an area for farming. We've got a house. We've got the startings of a wood farm that I need to make more of. And we've also got a safer area for us to mine out. So Willis can don't get us. We do, however, need to go downwards to get a little bit of depth on this island because it is just a flat shape, just sitting there, not really doing very much. We also need to build up. It's time to start getting things a little bit more interesting looking. And to do that, I've got several days of mining ahead of me because I need the resources. And that turned into an interesting thing. I guess I can just smack it. Am I going to hit it out? Oh, I don't want to hit it out, though. That would be bad. That was what I wanted to avoid. And on day 42, we finished the nether section and we were ready to upgrade to the next bit. I've got literally no clue what it's going to be. I'm very interested. We have got, oh, it's frozen stuff. I've got more snow. Didn't we already have that one? Not sure. Last I looked, quartz didn't grow in the snowy biome. So I don't actually know what this one is even. But there seems to be quite a lot of quartz coming out, which is quite nice because I'd really like to use this to build with. I don't think it even knows what to be this one. It's all over the place. It's got never stuff. It's got plain stuff. It's got all sorts. Maybe it's just a mixture. It was only a matter of time before these come along, but I've sort of trapped them in here. So if I can get rid of them, maybe they'll be dropping their phantom membranes as well. Don't know, but they can't get out. I think that might have worked, you know. Yep, we got some phantom membrane. Brilliant. Don't know what I'm going to use it for, though. Oh. Zombie horse, you don't get that in the game. That's quite cool.
have made it to day 51, just over halfway to our 100 days, and we've hit another hearty, chesty, floaty thing. So I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna grab my stuff off the top of this. It's starting 90 seconds, I've got a minute and a half until, well, whatever the next level is. I don't know what it's gonna be, I'm hoping it's not gonna be something that kills me a lot because killing me a lot is not a lot of fun. It's all going quite well, I think. We've now got the outer shape of what I want the island to be. Lots more detail. Need to fill in the bits between the current wood and where that edge is. And then we need to kind of go upwards as well as downwards a little bit. 60 seconds to go. I'm quite excited. And we have got less than 10 seconds to go to the next level. Zombie horse. Yes, we're at four, three, two, one. And what is it giving us? Desolate land. A barren land, ladies and gentlemen. Desolate land. What does that mean we're gonna get? So we've got stone brick, which is useful because that saves me having to make it. But what does that mean we're gonna get in terms of people wanting to kill us? That's the bit I'm concerned about. New lands generally mean new mobs. And as a result, oh, is that, is that mycelium? Hang on. Yeah, it is because it turned into dirt when I dug it out. So I need to get myself silk touch so badly. Maybe I need to start getting that silk touch filler to work in for me, definitely. Right, well now I know the sort of things that are gonna come with this one didn't come before. I do not wanna get killed by silverfish. That would be ridiculously embarrassing. Just don't do it. They're you shouldn't even get hit by them for goodness sake man so what kind of stuff real mixture of stuff coming through we've got clay we've got mossy stone bricks iron warped loads of stuff look at that proper mixture it's quite handy because i need some just some variation in my inventory we appear to have spawned in the four horsemen of the apocalypse which is all right because they can't get out because i've blocked them in and if i hit them and they can't get out hopefully that means they'll never be able to get out and i'm just going to kill them all like this in a kind of semi-cheaty way. They can see me if I'm under there, but they can't really do an awful lot of damage. Come on, horseman, you can do better than that. You just fire arrows, just fire arrows. I'll still take you out. Don't care if you hit me a few times. I'm even gonna kill your horses because you bother me, but not that one, because he's my mate. We are at an exciting point. We're 51 days in and I still haven't managed to breed these fellas. So I'm gonna use the carrots that I've created so lob a load of carrots at these guys, give them some food, and hopefully this means they'll start to love each other a really lot. I do hope breeding works on the server because, well, I need more for these guys. Oh, I've, I'm seeing hearts. Hearts are good. Martha is definitely having a loving. Go on, Martha, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with our little mate here? Are you gonna do something? Come on, you know you want to. Show me the baby. Show me the baby. Come on. <gasps> There's the baby. Hello, mate. You, my little friend, need to grow up and turn into another librarian villager so I can blatantly manipulate you to give you the kind of books that I need. Yeah, you do. And it has taken till day 58, but I have managed to get myself a Silk Touch book person, an Infinity, which I'm really excited about. That is a multi-shot, but I got him for the bookshelves because I want to be able to do an enchanting setup. Bobby has got Mending, which is brilliant. And where's Gertie? Martha, is it Martha? Martha's got loot in three, so we are all over getting these books going. I need to get more stuff to build more beds, however, because I want, I want more, I want more. The greed is overwhelming me. This is what we need. Mending on that pickaxe, silk touch on that pickaxe. We are ready to actually collect everything, the glass, the glowstone, all of that horrible stuff that goes away when you do it with a normal pickaxe or a normal shovel. I can now have it all. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous about this bloke here. He is likely to take me out in a very big way. So I'm, I'm basically, I'm just gonna cheat. I'm just gonna shoot him with arrows from a distance when he can't get me. This idea was genius. Okay, well I just killed an evoker, got a totem of undying. That might actually save my bacon a little bit, but probably not a lot. And especially if I fall off into the void. Oh well, we'll keep going anyway. My poor iron golem's been bashing things for me, so I reckon it deserves a bit of a fix. There you go, mate. Enjoy that. It's already day 62 and I've spent so much time collecting resources. I haven't really built anything. So the next several days are going to be dedicated to building with all the crazy amounts of resources that I've actually managed to get. First off, we're going to fill in these holes. I think we're going to go for a little bit of spruce plankage going out to the edge. I need to do something with the bit that's underneath me. And maybe I need to go upwards a little bit as well. Be prepared for a load of building. Let's crack on.
decided I don't get nearly enough experience for the mending book to make any difference whatsoever. So I'm making myself one of those and I'm going to fix my pickup just a little bit because I'm nervous that fella's going to get broken and that would be a disaster. I'm quite happy with that as a bit of a top of a dome. I've not got nearly enough sand to be able to make all of this glass, but I did have enough to glass that up and I've still got a fair bit left, so I might do another row. I don't know, but what I have done is got to day 70 and I'm on the end dimension now. So I'm just gonna mine out some end blocks, see whether or not this might be interesting. Might have known Enderman would end up in here, but it looks like the AI is not on for this one. Thank goodness, got away with that one. Let's just keep mining. Getting attacked by a swarm of Endemites. Come on, fella. Mr. G, come on, you need to help me out here. There's one Endemite, absolutely fine, but these guys aren't dying. They should be dying. They should totally be dying all on their own. Mr. G, come on. I'm not gonna die to an Endemite, for goodness sake. I think there's a shortcut in here somewhere, but I'm not sure because I heard, I heard the shulkery noise. But he's not there. So where is he? I'm sure I heard him. I wonder. Did you hear that? I wonder if he's gone underneath. So I'm out of sleep and I've put some water down here. There's definitely a fella in there, isn't there? I just need to know where is he? Where is he? Can you see him? He's over there. Can I shoot him from inside? Oh, I can, look, I can. Oh, he's teleported. Where's he teleported to, though? Right up there. Right up there. Right, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna suffocate. Don't die, for goodness sake. Right, I need to, I need to, I wonder if he's teleported above the level now. That would be quite useful if he had, because then I don't need to worry about him. Let's find out. Now, I can't see him, so I don't know where he's gone, which means he's probably teleported miles away under the platform. Oh, I'll find him later. Now, one thing I haven't tested out yet is what happens if you go through to the nether, and I really fancy finding out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try laying out just a few blocks here. I know it's up in the air, I'm gonna sort that out in a minute, but I wanna give myself a bit of a nether portal that's not, not fancy, but you know, at least a little bit different to just a lobbing one down. I need to get some wood. And that way, once I've done that, I can put in a nether portal that looks just a little bit interesting perhaps versus the one that where's my wood gone uh versus one that looks a little bit dull so i'm just gonna do that and we'll see what happens as the day has dawned on day 72 we're gonna go through this fairly crude looking nether portal just to see what goes on on the other side have i got any food no i haven't got any food well go on let's just do it. Let's do Leroy Jenkins. What happens when you come through the other side of one of these portals here? Oh, it tells you. It's an actual never. It's an actual normal never. So if I want loads and loads of never blocks, I'm well sorted. That's handy to know. But does that mean when I come out the other side, it's just going to bash? Oh, I'm this is actually really interesting. Bone blocks there and everything. We've got all the soul soil I might need. Plenty of lava. Oh, this is a really good find. I assumed it was going to be like a little island on the other side, but it's not. It's brilliant. I reckon there's a better than average chance I might make use of that. However, I am a little bit embarrassed in the food department, so I suppose I need to spend a little bit of time getting my crop sorted and actually replenishing my food. I've not had another pig spawn in, which means I've only got one pig, which is a problem because I can't breed it. I want to breed that, but I can't. I'm waiting for another pig spawn to come through, but it's just not happening and I'm not happy about it. But hopefully one will eventually come through if I keep bashing these things. Let's keep going for another few days and see what happens. Okay, I'm breaded up. I need to get some more blocks. I'm also gonna make myself a cobblestone generator because I need to get myself loads of blocks just for one final build before the 100 days is up.
and the sun has just set on day 99 you can see there of this skyblock world one block skyblock world we've managed to build quite a lot we've also done 7310 blocks mined out just from that very specific block there not including all the ones i did out of the cobblestone generator as well so all in all we didn't do too bad frankly so it's time to do the thing let's get ourselves sleeping and as a result bring us to day 100 and i think there we go day 100 let's come outside my door by the way that blah, 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 that's the parrot the parrots learn the shulker box i found it i killed it i got a shulker box what can i tell you we have got day 100 we've actually managed to get to day 100 i'm quite pleased with myself i've got to be honest and all in all i think we managed to do quite a lot on this world let's just have a look at the island I decided to go for an interesting base underneath a large disc because I didn't want just a large flat disc floating in the air. And I've got a, this kind of dome thing going over the top. Now, if I'd have had enough sand, I probably would have converted that to glass and created some kind of goldfish come snow globe type of effect on there. But I just didn't get enough glass to be able to do that. We got enough buildings on the platforms, though. I had my standard mining out area that held in any mobs. I got all my wood. I've got my storage. I made a couple of little living areas. We got the nether portal over there, although we didn't really use the nether that much, plus plenty of animals and a cobble generator. I think it didn't go too badly. We didn't do too badly for 100 days. Slightly longer video than normal, but 100 days of Minecraft actually means quite a lot of Minecraft. We managed to get the nether, we managed to get a bit of a tower, we got the house. We got everything we wanted to do probably in that 100 days, as well as the nice ornate underneath, which took a load of time. Also, literally, and I mean literally also, we had this appear underneath as a result of the last thing. It's not quite done, I've not got all of the eyes of Ender in yet, but we've got an end portal under there. I just never did it. I, mean, I can't do everything for goodness sake i had a lot of fun doing this one and i hope you enjoyed it too let me know what you thought of it in the comments below if you have enjoyed that video please remember to slap that like button it's great to know you're enjoying them and i will keep on making them. also if you've not done it already please do hit that subscribe button it'd be great to see you in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye